Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Plants vs Zombies playthrough. In the last episode we did uh, Zombotany and Walnut Bowling, the first two mini-games available to us. This episode we're going to do the Slot Machine, which is probably one of the weaker mini-games in my opinion. Because we have to go gambling. You need 2000 sun to win this mini-game. And, well, the main issue is you have to spend sun to use the slot machine. The other issue is if you don't get any pea shooters at the beginning of the level, which is fairly common. Well, you can't really do anything about it. I got lucky with that one spawning there. And on my practice file, I was actually lucky enough to get a free diamond from here. You get two in a row, or two of the same, you get one free plant. If you get three that are the same, you get three free plants, which is really nice. start off fairly easy, the harder ones unlock right at the end. achievement for getting three diamonds, which is mega rare. I got the sun, but obviously that's not the best idea. Why do I always get in the This 
This one's probably one of the worst mini games to grind money on. Not one of my most favourited mini games, but it's alright. We have enough time for its raining seeds. This one is really, really long. And um, the other thing with this one, this one is probably one of the better mini games because of how unique it is. I'm starting off with a melon pole. Fantastic! It's one of the best points you can get to start off with. Lily pads okay. Because you get pretty much any plant in the whole game. Nice. Cabbage pole. Not bad. Oh. Sea shroom. Nah. Like, it pretty much gives you completely random plants, by the way. Yes, you can get the same one, so this will be marginally different from my practice file. My practice file, it gave me no good plants to start with for the first five minutes. I literally had one attacking plant down. Oh gosh, I don't me. And I had one plant that actually stayed. And then the rest were all instant split P. Mm. I guess I can't do that. That can just go in front of the split P in case I get like a cone head or something. But this level's unique because you have to think carefully where to place the plants. And don't think that these melon pots will be here forever, by the way. I will most certainly lose at least one of them to a bungee zombie. In the water, just in case. Yep, just as I feared. It's not a bad shot. We'll put that there so I can keep an eye on it. Oh wow, a marigold. Lucky me. that row was on. We'll put that there. I know it's a bit of a waste, but I need to make sure it's okay. That's definitely gonna go around here. That's not a bad plant to get actually. But don't let them just sit there doing nothing because eventually you will lose them. will be on the screen by now. Okay, let's protect the water rose the best we can. The water rose as well. This is way different from last time. Like last time my main plants were just uh, peas. This time it's mostly catapults. 
to a repeater. That's going to go here. We'll put a pea shooter here as well. If I get a torch wood, it's going in that top row for sure. Also, the game takes away certain gimmick zombies like pogo zombies. Oh no, not my lily pad. I mean, okay, that one's a bit more annoying. What a shame. What a shame, guys. I lost the worst plant in the game. All it was doing was making me a tiny bit of money. I'd rather lose that marigold than something that's actually beneficial. It's the only other word I really want to feed in. didn't get rid of it. Where can I put it? I did have a warm-up there. Oh, 
more plants you can take away. Why are you picking the lily plants? Oh, another marigold. Lucky me again. say that went rather well but that is all we're gonna have time for this episode so thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day